Okay, asked a question on old souls and young souls. I mean, for me, um, uh, it's like no one's going to get in my view, and I can be wrong, I admit, I'm not a, I'd have to muscle test and do a lot of research. I'm just guessing, so I can be wrong. But my guess is no one's coming in here by, by accident. I mean, to be born into this place, uh, which is, I agree with Hawkins, this is purgatory, this is not like heaven. Like if, if I was, if, my, if the density of my soul h hardly had any baggage on it, then I wouldn't even be incarnated. Because this is a really tough, uh, tough place to be incarnated. So I'm going to have quite severe baggage just to get, get into a body in this place. Because it's, it's a, tough, it's a tough, uh, tough place. If I had virtually no baggage, I might get, you know, I might be wafting off, the spirit might waft off into heaven where everyone's singing it singing songs and everyone's nice to each other. So this is quite a heavy karmic event uh, to be incarnated here. I think as a new soul, I think it's very difficult. I think for a, for a new soul, uh, the attractions of this world to go in the wrong direction are, are very high. So I think the new souls usually, um, you know, uh, uh, will be, unless you're lucky, uh, will get attracted to alcohol, drugs, or whatever, or all kinds of bad things, and come back and have to do it. It's, um, I, you know, like something like, um, uh, you, I mean, you can get the, you might get things like, uh, I think this is less common, like you might uh, get people who are coming from the angelic realm for the first time, in here just to do good. I think that's very rare. That's mm. something different. Mm. But I think most mm -hmm. uh, most are here um, because of uh, karma, significant karma. And I think as a new soul, you're not going to be that that clean to be able to be eligible because you'd have to have a certain density to be incarnated. incarnated. And even if um, I think even the people who are born to privilege that creates problems as well when you're given everything on a plate, or if you're uh, put into a difficult place. So, mm. now I think some, you know, theoretically, I, don't, I wouldn't have to know the research, but I think for someone to come in here as a new soul, I think they'd still be quite naive. They wouldn't be someone who's like, you know, uh, with muscle testing came that Christ had no reincarnations. So that's a unique thing. So that's, I would say, that, uh, so, uh, with, with muscle testing, um, Buddha had many lifetimes, many, many lifetimes, and he, he released his karma and got to enlightenment, released all his attachments and got to the highest level of enlightenment. Whereas, if you check uh, with Jesus, what, did he have past lifetimes? No. So that's quite a unique thing. So his, 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 he came straight from uh, a different realm. Uh, if, if you like. So that's uh, more unique. But I think the young souls, I mean, I wouldn't want to be a young soul being born into this place, a new soul. So I think you just pick up stuff. I think a lot of them might be lucky. I think some of the new souls might have nice parents mm. who might be in a very strong spiritual faith and they get attracted to that strong spiritual faith or their spiritual condition and might, might be eligible to go to heaven quite quickly and so not have to come back. I mean, I think, you know, like Christ was sort of saying, my interpretation was like, have faith in me as your saviour, and I'll sort of speak for you, you get, at least get into heaven. You know, I'll, I'll speak for you. So that's quite, you know, so it's not really an enlightenment message, but I'm your saviour, and I'll make sure at least get to heaven. Uh, which is like, and for me, to get into heaven means you don't have to come back to this place. I mean, hopefully I won't have to come back to this place. So that's good. Buddha is saying if you release all your attachments, you transcend the world, which is even like more advanced. But you don't, but you don't have to come back to this place. So for a new soul, I think for a new soul with good parents, if they retract to spirituality and get through to a, at least to a heavenly level of uh, of uh, forgiveness, then they could go on to a heavenly realm and not have to come back here, and they can do the rest of the work in much more pleasant. But to be in purgatory as a new soul. I think there's a thing like many of us become addicts, you know, there's a lot of addicts and especially nowadays, a lot of addicts. So you get mired into some form of alcohol or food or drugs or 
whatever it is or the wrong company and then you get you go into addiction and then you have like addiction is you know lifetime after lifetime of agony mm -hmm. until you until you choose a spiritual path so um that's my that's my guess but i think even a young soul to be incarnated here is pretty bad karma um i mean buddha said it's like it's good karma he put a positive spin on it and said it's good to be born because you can release a lot of karma. Mm. If you've got karma, this is one of the best places to release karma very quickly. Uh, and you can get that because like forgiveness uh, and letting go. I mean, if you're born into this place, the opportunity for forgiveness is like incredible. Uh, where if you're in heaven where everyone's nice to you, you're not going to have an opportunity to, to, to rise much. You have nothing to forgive, everyone's nice all the time. Here there's stuff to really let go of and, and release. But I think each individual, if you did muscle testing on each individual, how many lifetimes, what were the events in there, what were they attracted to, what were the choices they made, it would be quite interesting to see whether a young soul quickly goes and, and is eligible not to come back, or if a young soul gets mixed in the wrong company, mm. and then 25 lifetimes they're still struggling and taking on more baggage, so it would be quite interesting. Mm. Okay.